All right, good morning. It's Saturday morning, May 4th be with you. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. Today is May. We are in a location called Logan City. Well, we're not quite there yet. We're, we're still driving. Uh, we're heading up this road here. We're just off by a, a lake behind me over here. Right now, I'm going to air down my tires, drive up this dirt road. It's kind of chatter, so it's like very bouncy. Um, so I'll take some air pressure out of my tires. Uh, I was running 30, 38 pounds uh, for the highway. Now that we're on dirt roads, we'll probably go down to 20, 20 pounds. And we're going to head up the mountains. It's about nine miles up up this dirt road right here we're going to a place called logan city started in 1860 i'll give you some more information once i uh finish lowering my tire pressure once we get up there we'll see you in a little bit i don't just saw a snake go flying by the road here i'm gonna see if i can find it probably not that sucker was fast holy smokes you should have seen that thing go i mean that thing was quick either a racer or a gopher snake. I just don't know where it went. The rocks are really cool. Yeah, that thing was fast. I'm trying to see if I can see it somewhere. Ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> like I said, I said, I think it was a racer because that thing was fast. Man, that thing, that thing took off across the road. Could be in this bush right here. All right, if I see it, I'll bring you back. All right, so we are, <laughs> my favorite word, all right. So we are, Still going up the road. We went from kind of a desolate desert to now more plush greenery, I guess. Um, as you can see, we got some junipers in the back. We're getting into some rocks. Uh, as I'm driving up, I can see some petroglyphs uh, over here. So we're gonna check out some of these petroglyphs. So yeah, we're going up this mountain here behind me. We're going up to Logan City, which was basically silver. They, this is the natives that lived in this area kind of helped these pioneers, these prospectors. They kind of helped them out, showing them this a silver war and well of course the pioneers removed the natives in the area the Paiute they got rid of them they didn't want them around because they got what they wanted which was the silver such a trip I'm gonna turn you around and of course as you know we got wind but just imagine being here being out in this area back in 1800s Look at this. It's a really cool area. So, obviously, where the petroglyphs are. I'm sure they set up camp around here somewhere. Here's a wash. Let's look in their eyes. Back when they were here. Before we started making dirt roads. It's awesome. Okay, we're gonna walk around a little bit and if I see anything, I'll bring you back. See you in a sec. We... <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that she, I'm leaving that in there. I don't I don't know why I keep saying <laughs> all right. So we are at another spot. We are getting higher up into Mount Irish and it shows you. Oh, this is cool. Let me show you. Gives you a map where we're at. It's cool. Gives you kind of the history of this area. Oh, I'll have to take this and the artwork. Cool. We're gonna see all this stuff. So I will show you. Cool, we'll take this. Nice. That's nice. I don't have pockets. Great. And then your your logbook. 
we will log ourselves in. So 42424. That was the last time somebody was up here. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm missing one. There we go. Sorry. 530. Okay. Just wow. Let me sign in. Some pinstripes put on my vehicle right now. I'll show you. And right now, everything I'm doing is basically two wheel drive. Um, I would say about 90%, maybe even 95% of all the things that I, I do is made for, you know, two wheel drive vehicles, but high clearance. I would definitely have high clearance. I wouldn't have a low profile vehicle. I would have a vehicle that sits up really high. So you're not getting rocks bashing your oil pan. So let me uh, turn you around here and show you where we're at again. So this is, uh, the little town of ghost town of Logan City. All right, here, here you go. Logan City mine mining camp and spring. I don't know if you can really read it. Logan was city was this was the largest of four mining camps established in. I can't even say that word. In 1865, Logan Spring was home to the first official meeting for the district. Logan City quickly grew by, by 1867. There was a post office, a store, a hotel, stable, and population speculated to be about 300. The boom was short-lived given the relatively poor silver production in the district and promising discoveries found elsewhere. The town was abandoned in 1871. That's a beautiful, beautiful area. I mean, this is the wind, of course. We got wind. All the junipers. I really couldn't tell you what, what this building was. Yeah, I guess in the much earlier time, it, another little lizard, we tried to reactivate it, come back up here, try to mine for silver, but I guess it was just too much. So, as you can tell, you got modern electrical. They didn't have electrical in 1865, I don't think. So this is an add-on right here, what we're standing in, this, this wood frame. I'm guessing back in the 50s. Uh, you got a J-box right there. This wire mesh, the mesh for the uh, plaster they used. You can see the plaster in the wall. Here's the original foundation, which is the rock. And they I don't know if this is like real for this area or not, or it's painted. There's a lot of blue rock down here, so I don't know if that I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's real rock or painted rock. It's blue. The old caster.
I don't know if that's actual graffiti from back in 1865 or or not. It's cool. It's really cool. Yeah, this might be some of the original stuff right here. fireplace this thing was well built I don't know somebody came in here and painted I don't know why they have to do that so just leave things alone it's starting to fall apart rock starting to the brick is separating from the mortar That's an, well, no, I'm sure they they did some upgrading and as time came on from previous times. Let's get open that. Yeah, it's a, it's a, you can see the J box in there with power, electrical wire, so. Come apart. Yeah. Accordion curtain or closet door, I guess. No. She got that window. Look at your view. That's your view. Isn't that awesome? I'm not sure what this would have been. Like, I'm guessing a bedroom. This would have been the bedroom. Maybe your bed over here, or yeah, your bed would be up against this wall right here. Because, I mean, you come back to modern days, whoever tried to bring power up here. Now, there is no power, so they would have to ran a generator to bring power into these rooms. There's no power lines coming up to this. So this is the bedroom. It's probably held. I don't know. Look at that. Spring. Yep, they nailed that shut. You can take a look in there. There's still no light. I don't know what's in there. I can't see. So here's your bathroom. I don't know how old this corn on the cob is. This cob. See the newspaper up there. Let's see if I can get you up there. Oh. What do you see? Oh, I, I was trying to reach. Uh, yeah, this is your bathroom. sink the drain or that's a vent pipe going up toilet and then tub yeah your tub would be here yeah tub and shower so there's your hot and cold turn for the water for the tub and then up for the shower head so I'm guessing this is kind of filled in down here. Yeah, your toilet was here. 
the sink was here. Not sure about this one. That's an interesting one. Look at how it's starting to split. Taking a shower. Get to look outside. Get your view. Light switch. Mm -hmm. we'll take a look up here. Anything exciting? Another one. Crap beer. All right, so this was obviously a house. There's a structure up there. We'll, we'll walk up there and we'll take a look. I see some rocks over there and we'll walk around. We'll see what's, what we can find. So this building started up in 1955 to 1970 and you see the little animal that just went by this was the showfield home oh crap let's go back in here real quick silver sign silkate so so this is the people that lived here Showfield, right here, S-C-H-O-F-I-E-L-D, D. Bella Showfield, and then I'm not sure, light, A-L-I, so this, this is 1955 to 1970, got the horseshoe right there, all right, so damn this GoPro cameras. I tell you, they die so fast. So I was talking about that area over there being a um, Showfield's home. They mined aluminum silicate, silicate deposits from 1955 to 1970. Uh, it's just... This is not really old. Is again, you can see the modern electrical outlets. I gotta watch out, man. They got a lot of nails sticking up. Let's see, there's an outlet right there. There's an outlet right there. It's not too, too old. Right, we're gonna come here. Too many damn nails. And of course, the wind. We've come from there to here. This was the toilet. So the 55 gallon drum was used to catch their fecal matter. So this was the restroom. Of course, you had a nice view. Just like the house down there. So, all right, we'll keep moving. So I'm guessing this, this structure here was probably built in the 50s and 60s. Maybe like for their car, had a covering, drove their truck in here. It's possible. Due to the fact of the concrete, the cement, they see they use native rock too in the uh, in the concrete. You can see the native rock in there. So yeah, we'll go over there and check out this little little house right there. I don't know if you see that little can right there. It's got a couple holes in it, right, with wire. I'm guessing they might have used this as a candle holder. It's hard to tell because it's I can't, I can't get out. I can't get it out. It's, 
trapped in there. But I'm guessing that's what that was used for. Maybe a candle holder. Tell me if I'm wrong. All right, so now we're over here at this little shack. I'm a little close because it's kind of trapped by bushes. So this is more modern. Maybe the 55 to 6 to 71. A little storage shed maybe. I mean, you got a concrete slab here. Not sure what the boards were used for. Modern nails. Soft. We got a little dump site right here. A lot of the cans. Obviously there was a house over here with the amount of cans on the ground. They're all smashed. Basically free range cattle that roam around here. Something was here, native rock. It's the part of their house. Beautiful view. Harsh life. See this rock? It's cool. The front door was. Maybe right here. Here's a can. This one's pretty decent. Look at that. Ah, here we go. Here's front door. I don't know, can we imagine what this little cabin, miner's cabin looked like, or prospector's cabin looked like at one time? Maybe fireplace over here? Somebody was digging. Probably metal detecting. Yeah, I see, I see a bone in there, but I see one. All right, well, I'm gonna walk around and if I see anything of interest, I'll bring you back. All right, so just been walking around, see what I can find. This is another looks like another structure. This might be a pretty cool place to come during the right time of the year for pine nuts. I'm seeing a lot of these pine trees, these pinion pines, and they produce the. the Pine nuts. I'm trying to see if I see on any on the ground, but usually the animals will eat them. So I don't really see any, but man, there's a lot of pinion pines. Yeah, this, something was here one time. You see the native rock forming, uh, what is that, gobbin? wall not sure what that is it almost looks like silica yeah so there's another one there's the wall there's another one over there I'll see you over there all right so <laughs> son of a fuck all right here <laughs>
And we got another one right here. This is another foundation used with the native rock. Really good work. Look at this. Look at the stacking. Awesome. Like they literally have to walk around here looking for the right rock and start picking at it to square it off. Man. So cool. A lot of work. I mean, this is, this is a lot of work. I don't, uh, I don't see much else around here. Pretty much, I don't know. I don't see anything. Winds are picking up. It's 1.30, it's about 76 degrees. I have my hat turned around because the wind keeps blowing it off. Yeah, it's a pretty place, it really is. It's, it's up high, so it's kind of it's kind of nice because I'm up in elevation and it'll be cool tonight. I'd rather be cool than struggling trying to sleep with uh, hot weather but if i go if i go back down it's going to be in the 90s i don't know what my elevation is Six thousand and ninety three feet is my elevation so I'm, uh, heading back to the car back to the floor oh like i was saying I'd say about 90 to 95% of all the locations I go to are two wheel drive capable. But again, you definitely want a high clearance vehicle. You don't want a low profile car driving up to these places. And the only reason why is because there are some rocks that you would drive over and it would hit your oil pan. So my vehicle is you know it doesn't sit like super high but it's high enough that it clears a lot of rocks and i also avoid them so that i don't cause any damage to my vehicle it still has to get me home i equip myself with as much as i can when i head out to these trips even for a day I usually have a lot of stuff uh, with me I'm gonna lower you down so in my vehicle I have a lift this is a 2019 TRD off-road premium this is let's just say this is about $34,000 cheaper than a TRD Pro. And it's pretty much a TRD Pro. It really is. It has everything a TRD Pro has other than your color selection, the, the TRD rims, the TRD skid plate, the ugly skid um, rock sliders they put on with the ugly step, the horrible roof rack that doesn't do anything for you and of course the suspension system that they put in but usually you get rid of your suspension system to upgrade it to something better to give you a little bit more lift for bigger tires um yeah so uh i have five gallons of water that i keep on the outside of course the spare tire uh, max tracks i carry five gallons of extra gas uh, that little thing right there is the shower slash bathroom technically it's a bathroom it's not a shower of course the rooftop tent on top if we walk around the back or the other side here i have a 270 uh, awning and yeah i mean i got a refrigerator inside that runs off the solar panel on the top 
And of course I have a secondary battery system on the inside of the engine compartment, which, which helps um, with that uh, refrigerator and anything I want to charge, but I usually don't charge anything. I just, that's just mainly for the refrigerator and my accessories like the lights, mainly the lights. So I have backup lights I can turn on. Uh, eventually I'll get some lights on the side here. I got a light bar on the top, which I don't like. It's horrible. Uh, this light bar here, my fog lights, the fog lights are pretty darn bright. Um, the front bumper, I got a winch. I got a two and a half inch to three inch lift kit, lift, uh, basically um, rad flow, bypass uh, shocks in the front. Same thing in the rear. Yeah, uh, the difference of this is a premium because it's got the KDS system. So you can kind of see the uh, KDS right there, that spring, that, that cylinder. But uh, it has everything TRD Pro has. Exactly, everything a TRD Pro has. I just paid 36,000. TRD Pro, you're paying over 60,000 for it. Don't know why because <laughs> you could say i got a pro i don't know you don't need it you really don't this is the exact same thing and you're going to do the exact same thing with it is you're going to do all the upgrades as time goes on all right well that's it for this place thanks for watching i'll do a lot of editing get a lot of the crap out of there that doesn't need to be in if you made it this far, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. We'll see you on the next adventure.